Good morning, friends. We are having a wet day today. We're still having rain from Hurricane Florence coming through our area. We are having a full-on homeschool day and five of the kids have danced this afternoon, but I'm not gonna do a homeschool vlog. I thought today I would show you how I'm cooking a whole frozen chicken in the Instant Pot and continue on the process, how I've been doing homemade chicken bone broth in the Instant Pot as well. So here we go, let's go get a chicken. While I was getting everything ready, I went ahead and put the Instant Pot on saute. You can do that if you have time, it just helps everything get heating up. And I put about three tablespoons of Kerrygold butter in there. I'm also sprinkling in a little bit of thyme and I'll put some salt and pepper on top of it as well. So of course you never try to put your Instant Pot lid on whenever it's on saute mode. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. Then we're gonna get our lid on. Okay, and then we put it up here on ceiling. And then I'm going to put it on manual, on high, and it'll be for a whole hour. This is a quick peek at our breakfast. We are doing a whole bunch of scrambled eggs and we have about 16 biscuits in the oven too. So this did a natural release, which took about 15 to 20 minutes and then I was answering an email. So there it is, it's been 32 minutes since this chicken has finished. Let's take a look at it. There is our Instant Pot chicken. So we got all kinds of butter, all kinds of broth going on. Now also what you need to do, what I need to do, is take the internal temperature the chicken needs to be at least 165 degrees and also make sure the thermometer doesn't touch the bone. Oh, 200 degrees now, going on up. Just dissected this chicken that was our science experiment. Here is all the meat that I'm going to save. I've been having a big craving for deconstructed egg roll or you can also call it egg roll in a bowl. It's where you take cabbage, and sesame seed oil, just all kinds of good vegetables and you can use chicken or whatever protein you have. But I got a fresh cabbage today and I think I'm going to make that very soon. Here is what is left for the chicken. I, I could pick it just a little deeper. Overall I think this is good especially since the kids and I have to get back to reading here in a few minutes. So I'm going to put this in the Instant Pot. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is one of the best apple cider vinegars you can buy and it doesn't cost that much. I want to say it's like two three dollars a bottle. The apple cider vinegar pulls all the good nutrients out of the bones. If you had carrots scraps, if you had little strips of celery, any kind of vegetable scraps you have can also go into making the bone broth. I don't have any on hand without purposely chopping vegetables right now. Plus, we got to get back to homeschool read aloud time, so this lid is going on. It is going to go on manual high for two hours. Okay, friends, so I've been running kids around to dance and all of that, but I'm home now. And we are gonna have a look at the bone broth. So that is what it looks like. So this is just my little makeshift contraption here. I'm just gonna put a colander in a bowl, pour the bone broth in here to now get all the pieces of bones and chunks out. What I'm going to do with this bone broth is I'm going to just put it in eight ounce jars and put it in the refrigerator because I am personally going to drink this and use this myself. So here you go. We have 80 ounces of chicken bone broth ready to go. You can see that I am putting my bone broth in jars. Like I said, I'm going to keep these in my refrigerator for several days. I think that I very well will use them up over the next several days just to give myself something because I am working on losing weight, all of that. When I feel like I need a meal, I can have some bone broth instead. Then whatever I don't use, I will put into the freezer. These are the jars that I'm using. They are freezer safe quilted jelly jars. They're just eight ounces. There are lots of tips and tricks when it comes to actually freezing glass. So you'll want to research that. I'll also link a helpful article for you in the description below. So this mama is done for the day now. I'm going to put my bone broth in the refrigerator and, and that is that. If you'd like the recipe and the step-by-step -step directions, head over to largefamilytable.com and I will have the directions yet again on how to cook a whole frozen chicken in the Instant Pot and how to make homemade bone broth with that chicken. Thanks for watching and good night.